Hi guys and welcome to 123MyOT's video on how to modify the BIOS on the Sapphire RX 570 4GB with Alpida memory. Ok guys, so you've done all the hard work, you've built the rig and now it's time to modify the BIOS on your graphics cards. So why would you modify the BIOS on your graphics cards? Well, it's basically to improve the hash rate. Now the hash rate is the speed at which it does its calculations and the faster the hash rate the more money it can generate so it's something you really want to pay attention to um, especially when selecting the cards you need to select the cards that are going to give you the best hash rate uh, for the coin that you're mining so if we have a look at these sapphires here you can see there is actually a BIOS switch on the side of the sapphires now this allows you to have dual BIOS which means that you've got a backup BIOS if anything does go wrong so that's pretty cool uh, if you're mining or if you're modifying the BIOS that will at least give you a way out if you uh, if you do something drastic okay guys so to modify the actual BIOS there's a few few tools that you're going to need uh, and I've got them lined up here and you can actually get all of these tools from my website so if you go across to the 123myot.com website and if you click on downloads and if you scroll down to where it says BIOS mod tools and it gives you a list of all the downloads that you'll need uh, to go ahead and do a, do a, a BIOS modification. So that's uh, 123myot.com and then click on the downloads link at the top of the page there. Okay guys, so the first thing you're going to need to do is find out what type of memory you have in your card. Now this these steps for modifying BIOS will work with any ATI cards, it's nothing special. Okay, the only difference is you need to know what type of memory on your card you have and you also need to uh, have the correct BIOS for your card, okay? So the first thing you'll need to do is download this tool, Tech Power Up GPU-Z. You can get the link on the 123myot.com website under Downloads. So if you run it, download and run the tool. Alright, and you can see it's opened up here and it's on my AMD card. You can see down the bottom, we've got two cards on this computer. We've got a GTX 1070 and an RX 570. And you can see here the RX 570 memory type is Elpida. Okay, and just to show you what the 1070 has, all right, you can see the memory type is a micron for that 1070. And we'll close that off. So once you know what type of memory you have, then you can try and find a BIOS that, that will fit your card. Okay, so where do you find the BIOSes? I got this BIOS off a website called uh, Anorak Tech. Okay, and I've also added a link for that on the 123myit.com forward slash downloads uh, section under the mod BIOS tools. And so you can go ahead and look for a particular BIOS for your card. Or if you want to, if you've got the same card, the Sapphire RX 570 4 gigabyte with Alpida, then you can go ahead and download the BIOS from the download section. Okay guys, so another thing to mention is that uh, these BIOSes actually do come in different sizes. So if you right click on it, go down to properties. Okay, you see this is a 512 uh, kilobyte size BIOS. If we were to go into here and we were to look at some of these other uh, BIOSes that we have here, let's say uh, Rev2, it's also 512, this one here it's uh, 256, okay, so some BIOSes will be different sizes therefore you won't be able to flash some cards because the BIOS is uh, not big enough, okay. I can show you how to get around that and you'll need this tool here, it's called Polaris. Polaris allows you to do live editing on the BIOS so you can open it up and the Polaris editor will show you the BIOS settings for your card that you, you can change. And you can go in and change all of these. There's timing straps and everything along here which you can also change. Okay, so what this allows you to do is change all the settings on your card with a particular BIOS and it doesn't matter what size the BIOS is. You can just download your, BIOS, your current BIOS from your uh, graphics card and then edit it through here. Okay, so that's another tool that allows you to edit the BIOS. So let's say you've got your BIOS going and you just want to do a flash. Let's go ahead and we will need this ATI flash tool. 
just a quick disclaimer guys if you try this you're at, you do it at your own risk uh, I accept no responsibility for any of your graphics cards breaking or anything like that you need to do your own research and uh, you need to know what you're doing before you try and modify your cards okay now that that's out of the road let's continue with the video we're going to go in and we're going to run as administrator on the wind flash utility so right click run as administrator you can see it's picked up our Radian series card okay so what we want to do is we want to go ahead and load the image and it's going to be the RX 570 image here okay so we've got that one here and then what we do is we just hit program and then that will go ahead and it will um, flash your BIOS with the latest part now the only thing here you need to be aware of is to make sure that you're flashing the right card I would suggest that you remove all other cards uh, from your system and then flash them one at a time and then that way you can't really um, flash the wrong card um, now if you wanted to let's say you wanted to get, grab the BIOS off your card it's pretty straightforward it's a very similar way of doing it run as administrator again go yes alright now I want to save this current BIOS off there I'm gonna go save I'm gonna put it on my desktop and I'm gonna call it just BIOS dot BIOS dot ROM and I'm gonna hit save there alright and as you can see it saved a copy of my BIOS dot ROM uh, to my desktop now if I wanted to modify this with some settings that I had I could use the Polaris again alright and then I go open go to my desktop click on the BIOS ROM bang it's got all the settings of my BIOS and I could edit if I wanted the draw power on the watts to be lower I could make it you know 95 something like that um, and do it that way so that's pretty much it um, once you change your BIOS over you will have to then run this ATI package okay what this does is if you check your device manager and you've got under your display adapters if you have a, a yellow exclamation mark against your Radeon uh, graphics card then you need to run this patcher okay so the patcher is, just runs and it will find the driver and it will uh, patch your driver so that then it will detect your graphics card properly and then you can go ahead and start with your mining the last thing I want to show you guys is um, <clears throat> if you want to do, if you want to flash your BIOS via command, there is a command that you can actually use, um, but you also have to then get to your location of your ATI flash utility, and then you would use this ATI flash uh, program here. So, what we do is we want to open up a command prompt okay or a DOS prompt and you can do that by going down to start CMD right click on the command prompt and run as administrator you just want to go yes okay and then what you're going to need to do is go CD dot dot and then CD dot dot again all right and then that will get you to your C drive then you need to put in the location of your ATI flash folder so let's look it up so it's under under the users user and then desktop location so we're going to go CD right click and paste that in all right that gets us to the desktop then we go CD ATI flash underscore 277 and that'll put us in this directory so we are now in this directory here and then we're going to use this command copy let's copy it again copy all right hit enter all right it can't see the bios.rom so it's saying there's no bios.rom file under here so we're going to copy it under there now and we're going to do it again all right then it's going to go through and it's going to copy over our bios you can see here it's putting the new one and the old one on alright 
you've got restart system to complete so you'll need to restart it and at this stage you might just want to also after you do a restart check your device manager okay like I said before make sure your radon card doesn't have the exclamation mark if it does have the exclamation mark run your ATI package patcher again and you should be good to go and that's pretty much all it is guys it's uh, it's pretty straightforward uh, once you do it a few times you become pretty competent at it okay guys so that's pretty much it for me if this was a helpful video as always leave a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching guys bye bye